Hi, this is Alicia from Behind the White Picket Fence, and today I'm doing the books I need to read in 2013 tag. Uh, I've separated the books that I've picked off my shelves into three categories. The first one is um, books that complete a series that I really need to get on and finish and so the first one is Carrie Arthur's Destiny Kills. Uh, this is the second book in the series and the final book in the series, like I said. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one, and I really don't know why I haven't read the second one. Probably because I have a thing with not finishing a series, because I just don't want the story to be over. Second book is Christina Dodd's Into the Flame. Um, I've tried to start this book a couple times and didn't finish it, didn't feel like it. Um, so I really want to try and get this in in 2013. Next is Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James. Um, I've read the first two books and this one is the final book in the trilogy and I just feel like I'm missing out by not finishing the series. Uh, I like the first two books and I hope to finish this one soon. And then finally, for the books that I uh, want to read the complete series, is Jordan by Susan Kearney. Um, I want to finish this because I really like the first two books in this trilogy, and chances are I'll probably like Jordan as well, so I'm hoping to get this one in really soon because this is one of my favorite authors, and... I absolutely love her books. Next stack is going to be books that I feel like I'm missing out on by not having read. Um, the first one is Dark Fever by uh, Karen Marie Monning. I've heard so many good things about this series. And having not read it, I feel totally left out. So I'm going to find a way to get this in this year too. Then I have The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. Um, this has become really popular recently, and I just feel like I need to read it soon, so, uh, I'm gonna get this one in. Now, there are a lot of books on this stack, and I probably won't read them all this year. It's some, probably gonna be, I read some of them, and some of them are gonna have to wait till next year. Uh, then next I have A Hunger Like No Other by Cressley Cole. Uh, this one I've tried to start a few times and found other books more interesting at the time. So, I'm gonna put this one on the top of the list. Uh, A Quick Bite by Lindsay Sands. Uh, this is, uh, the start of a huge vampire paranormal romance series. And I'm kinda, it's kinda daunting to have this series l looming over my head, so I'm gonna try and start this one soon, too. And then the next one, the last one for this stack is Fallen by Lauren Kate. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, but not the entire series. So I just feel like I'm missing out by not having read the first book in the series. And hopefully I'll like it. I've heard many people tell me that it's not a good series and that I shouldn't read it, but I'm going to give it a try anyways. Next, I have uh, a stack of books that have just been sitting on my shelves for years, uh, and it's kind of getting pathetic. So, uh, the first one is a book that, like, the first book I ever won in a contest, and that is Robin Kay's Wild Thing. I won this from Night Owl Reviews, I believe, and it's about supermodels going on a camping trip. So that sounds really fun, and I hope to get this one going soon, and it's something that's going to be in my stack that isn't paranormal that will be a good break from what I usually read. Then I have another book that I won, uh, The Bridal S Swap by Karen Kirst. Uh, this is a inspirational historical uh, harlequin romance, and it just sounded really good, and... I hope to be able to re read and review this for the author soon. Next is Demon Fire by Kate Douglas. This is a book that I started reading and 
thought was too long when I started reading it the first time and just couldn't get into it. And it's stuck with me over the years. And it is about um, these two people. But the thing that really comes to mind when I think of this book is killer gnomes waiting in our backyard. And so I really want to see what's going on with that again. And hopefully I'll be able to read this one this year as well. Next is... Time Dancers by Steve Cash. Um, I read The Mech uh, five years ago, I want to say, and I don't really remember what happened in the first book. Um, I remember, like, Ziano and Opari and stuff like that, but I don't really remember, so I've heard from my sister that things are rehashed in this book, and it's easy to keep up with what's happening, so I really hope I can get to this one soon, too. Next is um, Tiger's Quest by Colleen Hewick. Uh, this book is the second book in her Tiger's Curse series, and I absolutely love these books. They're just amazing. <laughs> I hope to um, start this one probably next. Uh, I really like Kelsey and Ren and Kishan, so I hope to see what happens next in the series. And finally, my very last book that I want to read this year is Everneath by Brody Ashton. I won this uh, before the books uh, came out and haven't gotten to it, but I've heard so many good things about this series and the characters and the story, and hopefully I'll be able to um, find time to read all of these books that are on my list. And, um, yeah... I plan to get another tag video up. I have this huge stack of books for another tag video to do. And I am probably going to do a book haul here soon. So please keep your eye open for my next video and happy reading.